Finally, I can't wait to get started as chairman of South End. Geez Louise, this desk looks a bit old, falling apart and filled with vermin. Guess it's just like Ron. Yo, yo, boys and girls, here's your boy, I'm actually here, back with another video for the channel. I hope you're having a great day, wherever you are, wherever you're watching this video from. I hope you're having a smashing day, people. Welcome back to the channel, by the way. If you're new around it, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button down below, because, boys and girls, not even 10 days ago, we crossed over 2,000 subscribers. Boys and girls, it means the world to me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, and today is not going to disappoint. Away to Yeovil in the Cup. Oh, boys, Cup games in us. They never go well, do they? South 89 and the word FA Cup just never have gone well for the last few seasons. But boys, today is an excellent chance against a team that were relegated from the National League last season. But let's not rule them out straight away, people. They're top of the National League South. They're undefeated in seven. They've scored 21 goals in those seven, of which a few have come from ex-Blue striker Reese Murphy. Oh, I hate ex-strikers coming up against us. They always come out. They always do well. And Murphy is a real thorn in team side. He's that little poacher in the in the box. The fox in the box, as I like to call it. He really is going to be a pain to us. We need to keep him quiet, mark him good, and just overall be the attacking threat. When we went to Yeovil last season, if you didn't see that video, make sure you check out. We were dominant. We took the game to them. And Murphy even scored against Yeovil. Boys, it's cup day. Let's get down to Hewish Park. Come on! Play cup action today. Talk us through it. What do we think? going to happen? Um, it's going to be difficult, obviously lack of numbers again in the team, but still confident, even though they're obviously unbeaten here, but it's got to come to an end, so why exactly. not us? Exactly that. Who do we think is going to score today, boys? Number nine, um, Harry Cardwell. And number two. And same as last week. Yeah. Same I'll as last week. Any day of the week, we love big Harry Cardwell scoring the goals. Can yeah. we get an up the blues? Mm. Up the blues. Ooh. Former strikers up top for Yeovil. Boys, keep them quiet. Get that early goal. And let's get through this round. Come on. Come on, you blue boys. Okay, well that's an opening goal, not that way. 1-0 down, too early. Boys, come on, wakey wakey. Big call that. Mooney gone on 41 minutes. Debut over the youngster. Right then, all. Half time here at Yeovil. 1 0 down. It ain't been a pretty one today, as it due to lack of numbers, injuries, Mooney going off there right before half time, having to bring on a young 16 year old, which is nothing wrong with that in a cup game, but just shows the lack of how we're struggling to supply a team in this. Yeovil, I wouldn't say have been anything special to us. We've kept them largely quiet. The only goal has set us back, but it's a game we could be taking, we should be taking if we had a fit and proper team ready to go out there, but it's just been a long half and it's really been kicking hard in stands, but. There's a big second half come up. Let's just get that right. Murphy, <laughs> as annoying as he has been, he's been nothing special. Newball has been getting plenty of grief. It's, it's 
It's been one of those games, hasn't it? But big second half, boys. Come on, let's lift it up. Go on, Pino. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Well done, lad. Well done. Go on, lad. Go on, lad. Go on. Go on. Shoot, sir. Thank you, man. Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, unlucky. Go on. No. Oh. All that work, we look so good just to get counter attacked. I hope this over, I think this is over now. No fault of theirs out there, just depleted, can't keep up. That substitute feeling. I wonder what it feels like to actually make a sub and influence the game. Thanks, Ron. You've really bugged this up. Go on. Go on. Still got it. Good. What a ball. No! Come on! 2,697 with 301 travelling supporters. Thank you so much for your support here for South Korea. Right then all, back at car now, full time at Hewish Park then, 2-0 to Yeovil, Blues out of the FA Cup. In all honesty, yeah, it would have been nice, honestly it would have been nice, but a cup run isn't what we need right now. I'd say yes, okay, financially it would have done the club wonders and we can't take that away. And the boost it would have given to the squad as well would have been amazing, but... It's already a busy fixture list coming up for Blues. Congratulations to Yeovil before we go any further with this. They deserved it in the second half. Just played the game excellently well. Nullified our attack and took their sweet time. Surprised their keeper didn't get a booking. But hey, that's how football works. But no, like I was saying, it's just not the right time for a cut run. Yeah, it, it does hurt a bit. It would have been nice. But we've got 
a league to concentrate on. We've got to keep climbing that table away from that dreaded drop zone and just survive really until November, until the new, hopefully new chairman consortium comes in and we can officially push from there. But I'm proud of those lads out there today for that performance again, especially number 27. I think it's Bo, I could be pronouncing that wrong, McDonald anyway. He came on just before our time and had an absolute cracking game, I'd say. For a 16-year-old coming into the big man's game out there, he did superb. And if you ever watched this, congratulations on your debut and absolutely brilliant performance. But that'll wrap up this video here, boys and girls. Unfortunate defeat, but we push on next Saturday. Solly all moors at home. Can you get any trick here? My name's been Dino. If you've enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and peace.